what's up guys, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, I don't know, I've just been doing other stuff, and unfortunately I cannot ride now, because I uh, hurt my foot, so I don't know how long it's going to be like this, but until it gets better I guess, so for now I'll be making a review on my track mode. And on in a related note, I should probably get in the shade here, on a related note, since it's summer, I know it's hot out, and it might be too hot to ride sometimes, so I made an invention, but it's not on my bike right now. So right here, you get like a spray bottle from the dollar store or something, like three or four zip ties, and then you put water in it, you lay it out, you put the zip ties, like three zip ties around the body here, and then one up here where it screws in. And then there's a squirt thing here, so when you're riding, you can just uh, press it and squirt it to cool you off. But anyways, let's uh, get right into it. So basically, this is a Trek Marlin 4, and it is my pride and joy. I love this bike so much. Okay, so let's go over some of the parts. So... Right now, it doesn't come with these tires, um, but I like grip. Here, actually, I think I can find the tires. Uh, well, these are the tires that I bought. They're Continental Trail Kings. I bought them for 40 bucks each, so 80 bucks in all. They are really nice, but they're after uh, aftermarket. And okay, so let's go from the, the front of the bike to the back. So, it comes with these reflectors, which doesn't really matter, but uh, keep on meaning to take them off, but I haven't done that yet. So we got Shimano V-Brake, uh, they're not, they're cable, they're not uh, hydraulic. We got 7 speed, oops, 7 speed rear, uh, rear cassette, and S three speed front uh, cassette and it's just like your regular paddle shifters so up down up down and it, it comes with a click re click release for the seat the tires change the tires and the front brake and back brake are the same and I also put mucky nuts on there, and it was like 10 bucks. Cheap, help keep some mud out of your eyes when you're riding. And it's just uh, some of these things I prefer on my bike, like the tires and the mucky nuts. I prefer over nothing. Okay, so let's get down to the fork in this area. It's, I don't know if you can really see that, but they're cent SR Centaur oops. XCE 28s or no yeah 28s XCE 28s they're not you know the best you know you're gonna have to get oh shoot me. um upgrades sometime because I can tell mine are starting to break but I don't know why I'm talking about that but um yeah they've held up I've had this bike for six months but the the suspension has held up so far but it's not the nicest suspension. Okay, so you can see the Tech Trail brakes. Quick tip, do not touch the disc brakes because one, they could be hot after riding, and two, the oil from your fingers gets on there. But yeah, and then I have the, I have the Tech Trail disc too. Uh, so that's the same on the back, so I'm not going to show you the back. Well, I actually will, but uh, okay. And it's got an internally routed cables, which is very nice. Um, I like that about the Marlin 4. And then you can pre-reload the shocks however you want it, however you like to ride. I have them all the way squishy since they're, you know, not the nice suspension. So that's what works for me because I do a lot of downhill. Um, okay, so let's flip the bike over to the other side. Okay, I found the tires and let me show you. But they are. So you, let's go up, start off with the grip. So you can see it's kind of it's pretty grippy. They're very nice, actually. Very nice uh, stock tires for 
the bunch. So, they're XR2 Bont Ragger, Bont Ragger tires. Bont Ragger XR2s. Um, yeah, basically this is what they look like. They're 29 inch, so the rear one comes, this is the rear one right here. It's 22.4 inches wide. This one is 2.3 inches wide. So back, back one, front. And we're back to the video. So let me show you. I have, oh yeah, so it's an aluminum, this is a medium alum, aluminum frame. It's uh, the silver and red colorway made in Cambodia. Okay, so we have a Shimano 20 rear derailleur right there. Uh, you can see the seven speed. And I built a, I'll talk to you about how I built this right after this. And I will, it's a chain, uh, chain uh, guide. It doesn't flop around that much. Okay. So, Shimano cranks on each side. Shimano 20 front shifter also. Um, three ring cassette. This uh, came on my old 2000 uh, Gary Fisher Mount Jam 24 inch, which I rode the heck out of until I got this bike. Yeah, 29 inch wheels, too. I have to get in these things. Okay, so I kind of covered that area, right? And then it's got, uh, I don't know if this is threadless or threaded, but you can see it shows how much torque you should give it up here. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. And it's got Bont Ragger. It comes with Bont Ragger Cruiser Grips, which I like, because my wrists, like, they hurt if I like land on something so it gives me extra support which is nice I guess but, and it also comes with mounts back here for um, you know those big things that come up the, for a luggage and stuff that goes over the tire it's basically for that oh uh, shoot I stuck the water in my boot okay um yeah internally routed you can see there's a dropper post I just run for a dropper post to go Speed back down and up. Which I'm thinking about putting one on. But yeah, that's pretty much my mountain bike. I highly recommend it, and I'll go over the pros and cons. I highly recommend it. It is a very nice bike for me and probably for you guys. Um, it works extremely well. It has never really it's never let me down i haven't had to tune it up yet so um yeah so the pros are um it's easy to maneuver it's fun to ride the suspension uh, uh it's pretty squishy and it's all around just a great bike and always it comes with really or decent tires so it comes with a nice seat too and it's good for climbing too. But, uh, yeah, cons, suspension. Uh, the suspension isn't as nice as it could be. Everything else, I mean, is very good. It's, uh, 489 bucks what I got it for. 2020 Trek Marlin 4. Okay, so let me real quickly talk about how I made the chain guide i made it by so there's the black reflector that comes on there uh, and so you see so you see this round part that's on it i basically took this thing off so and then unscrewed this right there and then so i had to uh, hammer this off with my knife tiny knife and take it apart and I use this. So basically, um, there's where the screw goes, right down in there. And then there's like little tiny things here that pop out. So I extended it with electrical tape. I put electrical tape all around it. 
and then I put zip, I made it so there's like little things here uh, on each side. So I put the zip ties through and I zip tied it up there. You can watch a video on it. I uh, should make a video on how to make one. But yeah, it's basically how I made it. Uh, you guys can probably think of something even better. But yeah, that's it for my Trek Marlin 4 review. Thanks for watching. See you next time.